Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I asked you guys on my Twitter, which is at emmygalxoxo, and my Facebook, which is at facebook.com slash emi. G-A-L-L-X-0-0 if you guys would like me to post my October favorites because I filmed it forever ago and I honestly just forgot that it was on my computer and it was already edited. I just forgot to upload it and I asked you guys if you wanted to see that even though it is at the end of November. I'm still going to be posting in November favorites. So if you guys don't want to see my October favorites, you can easily exit out of the video or if you would like to see it, just continue to watch. Bye guys! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my October favorites and honestly I thought October went by super slow and I'm so excited it is November because my birthday is in November. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some favorites that I've really enjoyed over the month of October such as some hair products and makeup and just some random little things that I just found in my bathroom and I'm like okay I really like this and I've been using it a lot and I don't think I talked about it. So I'm just going to randomly stick my hand in this bag that I got going on right here and we are just going to get started with the video. So the first thing I already grabbed was actually this planner. I got this from Target about a Oh, goodness. Let's see when I started writing in it. I got it the 16th of October, so I started right in the middle of October. Um, I wanted a planner because I feel like if I don't write in something as far as the planner goes or a calendar, I just feel like my life is completely unorganized and I can't even remember what I did two days ago. So this really helps me remember what I did <laughs> in the beginning of the week, you know, just kind of like writing down when I, how many loads of laundry I did, um, when I went to the grocery store, and this is also really perfect for appointments and bills that you need to pay on time. I have paydays highlighted, so I have been writing down everything that I have done since the uh, 16th, so. I really like it. I like looking back and be like, oh, you know, two weeks ago I went over to dinner to my grandparents' house and I bought Brandon a birthday gift, you know, so I really like that and it keeps me really organized and if I know what's going on then I just feel better. This item is actually this guy and I found this in my closet. I completely forgot that I had it and I honestly think I got this from Target as well probably like a couple years ago. But I opened it up and I was like, this is so adorable and very convenient and it's so organized and I love it. This is like a wristlet slash wallet so I really like it because it has two compartments to put money or whatever you want. For example, I have money up here and then I have like lipstick and receipts in the other. It has a nice little demo of where you can put your cards and your license. And then, look at this, it's so cute. It has like a little change purse. How cute! And then a little cell phone holder. Back in the day when cell phones used to be very small, but I just will put like lip products in here. So you just close it and it has silver metaling on it and it's buttons that are magnetic. And then you just carry it around. So I have really been enjoying this. I, oh, and it has a pocket in the back. I've really been enjoying this, so I'm not carrying like a heavy purse around all the time. This is really light and convenient, and I feel really organized when I carry it around, and I already know what's going on in here, so that is perfect for me. Now, these guys, I've been really enjoying, and I picked them up because, I don't know about you guys, but I have really bad blackheads. Like, on my nose, I have like miniature ones on my chin, up here in the unibrow section, and my skin has been super dry this fall, and I don't even want to know what it's going to feel like in the winter. I'm honestly freaking out, because it just feels so dry, and even I put on so much moisturizer that my foundation will even start looking patchy and everything, so... I don't know what's going on, but I have severe, like, blackheads galore. And so I picked up these Burt's Bees Peach and Willow Bark Exfoliating Facial Cleansing Towelettes. They are 99.2% natural ingredients, and I believe that the Willow Bark really helps pull all of that dirt and gunk that's in your face and all that makeup. The peach just smells amazing. I like how it gets your makeup off. It's an exfoliator, so it helps get rid of blackheads and dead skin. Just 
all on your face. So I've been really enjoying these, so I thought that they were worth mentioning. You can get these at Target also. Since we're talking about the lines of skincare, I'm going to talk about this moisturizer right quick. So I actually picked this up at my work. I honestly don't know where you can get it. I would imagine you can get it on their website. It's called truepromisebeauty.com. I've never heard of this. It's called True Promise Beauty and it's called One. I'm going to read off this little menu that came with the moisturizer. It's number one. Um, you can apply it on your face as primer, not just to moisturize your face, but to also make your makeup last longer throughout the day. And while it's on your skin, underneath your makeup. It can smooth out lines, crow's feet, creases, diminish pores, tighten and lift the skin so that your makeup doesn't settle in skin imperfections. So I really like that and I have noticed that my skin feels a lot smoother and it feels tight. Like I kid you not after a week of using this, my skin, like its elasticity, it feels really tight. Granted I'm still young and my elasticity isn't terrible, but it feels like super tight, like I could feel it. Um, it also says you can use it as a lip plumper for a more youthful appearance. It says use as a powder, what does it say? It says that you can use it as a powder alternative. You pat it on over makeup to give a flawless satin matte finish without cakey powdered buildup. So I actually haven't used that. I don't know if I would like using a cream over my powder. I thought it was cute because it says it's not tested on animals and just celebrities. So um, this thing was really interesting. I thought I would give it a go. Uh, what I really like about it is that all you do is push on this lid and then product comes out and it's so easy. Like I don't even have to pick up the container. That's how lazy I'm getting. Like I just sits on the counter and I just push down with two fingers. It pops out and I got moisturizer. I'm going to look up where you guys can get this. I'll put their website down below. I got this for my work. So again, that is the True Promise Beauty number one 10 in one multi treatment facial cream. Now I talked about this in my last video and now that I've been able to try it out for a couple of weeks, this is the Rock Your Hair Spray It Clean Dry Shampoo. I love this. Oh my goodness, it's not powdery. Like you have to make sure you shake it really, really good and then you just spray it onto your hair, onto sections and just keep doing it. It smells so good, you guys. I love the smell. It's really kind of hard. It smells really clean and it smells kind of a little bit perfumey, just a little bit. But I got this at a beauty show. I'm sure that they have a website. I, let's see, rockyourhair.com. Um, this reminds me a little bit of the Batiste dry shampoo, but it's not as powdery. So if you don't like powdery dry shampoos, I sometimes like a little bit of powdery so I can see that it's working. This doesn't have too much powder, so it didn't make my hair look gray. It smells great, and I'm kind of obsessed, you guys, so definitely check that out if you're in the market for a new dry shampoo. This product is by Pureology. It is 21 Color Fanatic. Now, I believe I talked about this, but I had a travel size one, and I kept buying the travel sizes because I'm so cheap. <laughs> and I picked this up in the full size because I honestly was just like, I'm going to save more money and I know I'm going to keep buying it. This product is so great. So this is Pureology 21. It has 21 benefits to your hair. It's kind of like it's a 10, but it has 21 benefits instead of 10. So it's even better. Um, what I have heard, and this is working at a beauty supply store, because I've tried the Redken 25 and this, and this one's my favorite. Well, my hair is still pretty thick, even though I continually keep dyeing it. My hair is thick, but it's like medium. It's not very coarse, but it's not like really fine either. Some people have tried this out and told me that it leaves kind of like a residue onto their hair after um, versus like Redken 25. It's very light and airy for like fine, like for people that have fine hair. I like this just because my hair is pretty thick still and I, I think it just makes it feel so much softer. I put it in when my hair is damp and when I'm blow drying it, it just seems so feathery and so light and um, my hair is really tangly and it's not tangly anymore. I've been noticing my hair color isn't fading as much. So I'm pretty much enjoying this. So if you have like medium, even coarse hair, you're going to like this because it's like serum-y. 
Um, it's not very light. It's kind of like a medium consistency. If you have fine hair, still try this, but don't use a lot of it. This is one of my favorites. So if you have hair like me, definitely check this out. Again, this is Pureology Color Fanatic 21. Another hair product, and I got this on clearance, so it has the price sticker on it. Wind. Stop it. So this is Rockaholic Rockout Shine Blaster, and this is a serum. Let's see, you can put it into damp or dry hair. I mostly put it on my ends. This stuff smells. What got me was the smell. Even if you don't go get it, honestly, I think they still sell it at Cosmoprof, TJ Maxx, I'm not really sure. Um, but this is Rockaholic, and this stuff smells like cotton candy. This stuff smells so good, you guys. So I've been putting this on my ends when my hair is just dry, or even when it's a little bit damp. You blow dry my hair, and when my hair is pretty much almost dry, I'll put this on my ends, and then I'll finish blow drying really fast. Uh, yeah, you guys need to go smell this. You need to try it. It makes your hair super shiny, looks healthy. The only thing I would recommend is not using a lot and don't put it near your roots because like all oils or serums or anything like that, it might make your hair look greasy if you use too much. So just put a little dime size into the palm of your hand, put it on your ends. Oh, I love it. I love you. You are my precious. You're so beautiful. You smell so good. So here's the thing. My camera just completely died. Thank goodness that was the last product I was going to show anyway. But I know some of you guys like a proper goodbye. <laughs> so that was the end of my October favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be a haul video, a birthday haul video that um, I filmed yesterday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I was up super duper late, but again, I will be filming my November favorites soon. And don't forget to subscribe for more beauty-related videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!